Hello everybody. What I'd like to do in this video is to show you how to, to take a, a, an SKS uh, duckbill detachable mag and turn it into what we call a uh, AK style mag. Instead of this big duckbill, it has a small lug on the fore and a, and a lug on the rear of the magazine body, which makes it much easier to, uh, to pouch um, as well as installing into your rifle. We've got to show you two different ways to, uh, 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 to make this cut. One using a table bandsaw and another using just an inexpensive uh, vise and a hacksaw. The very first thing that needs to be done, uh, you, can, you can look here on the mag and you can see this little crease or fold that is formed by this uh, plane and this plane meeting. And, and if you take your pencil and just put right in that crease, you can, you can, it's very easy to draw a nice, straight, clear-cut line. And what we want to do is measure perpendicularly off of this line, half an inch out, put a mark from back here, half an inch out, put a mark, then we'll turn that, those two marks into a line, and that'll be our, our cut line. Uh, to mark it, in order to cut it using the vise and the bandsaw, we'll basically do the same thing, but we need to put the marks on both sides. Top one, we'll do the bottom one. Okay, so I have about two points, one here and one here. Then I'll take the straight edge. And I'm going to connect those two points and turn it into a straight line. But this, this line right here, we want to cut right up to the line, okay? Now, when, when we use this, when we use a table bandsaw to make this cut, we like to use this, this shim stock to keep the magazine straight this way and straight this way. It, these are just cheap pieces of uh, stock that I purchased from Osh. Th this one is 3 eighths of an inch thick. These are 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. This is the one I put underneath the end of the uh, duckbill. Then I have two small pieces of stock, uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. I put that just under the front edge of the magazine, right here at, at the rear, and that keeps the magazine you know, nice and solid, and it's straight this way, and it's straight this way. So with that said, we'll, we'll go over to the, uh, the bandsaw, and uh, we'll make that cut now. Okay, here we are at the table bandsaw. Um, but basically, we, 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 just, we just set the mag magazine down. We have this stop, stop here. Uh, we dims, put underneath the front part of the uh, duckbill, the other shim on the edge of the front, and, and the third shim on the edge of the back. So we're nice and steady. And what, what we do, we come out here and just kind of line it up so we just bump the edge when, when we cut. So I'm going to turn it on now, go ahead and make the cut. Okay, so you can see it's a nice square cut, even cut, and what we're going to want to do, you can see there's uh, five of these pieces, one, two, three, four, five. We're, we're going to keep the top two, so we, what I want to do, do now is with this blade, I want to cut out this, this middle reinforcement here without messing up the bottom of this piece. Uh, once, once I separate this, then we'll go to the next stage where, we'll, where we will grind away all these bottom three uh, reinforcements out of the way. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have these little ribs here. I've cut, cut the middle one out. Um, and what we want to do now is we want to cut these bottom three off. So I'm going to use, use the band, bandsaw to make a rough cut from here up to here. And then we'll use the uh, grinding wheel to kind of smooth it all out. Okay, so you see, we've got, we've got all these cut, cut off. We keep keep the top two. I'm, I'm going to take a grinding wheel and uh, smooth all, all this out so it doesn't, you know, just to give it a, uh, 
more pleasing cosmetic look. And then, then the last thing we're, get, we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna cut an angle on, onto this. We're gonna make an angle cut on this, this lug. We're gonna keep the bottom the same length, but we're gonna just uh, reduce the top back. And we're, we're gonna try to cut this at the same angle that this is. It's gonna look something like that once we are done. Okay, here we are. We're, we're gonna take the, uh, the hand grinder and we're gonna smooth this, this part off where we made that rough cut to make it look a little bit nicer. And I'd said but, uh, before that we, we were gonna do it with a grinding wheel, but this is actually a cutting wheel. It's, it's, it's much more thin and it makes it much easier for me to get up close and just kind of pull it down like this while I, uh, you know, while we smooth out those, those uh, rough ed edges and such. And then, and then we'll get to the top, top part. Okay, as, as you can see, you can spend as much time as you want to make this as smooth as you want. Uh, basically, I just like to get, get the sharp edges off, make it look halfway nice. And then one, one thing, thing you want to do at another time, uh, you can just get a real small flat file, one that, that you can come, come in here, here with. And if there's still a little bit of a lump here, which mine still has a little bit of a lump, you, you want to care, carefully file that down. And you just want to take your time and uh, just work on it nice and easy till you you get it down. Alrighty, now we'll uh, we'll we'll go we'll go ahead and cut cut this angle back here, and I I actually like to do that with a hacksaw because uh, I have more control over it and I can be a little bit more accurate with it. And I'll show you how I go about doing that. Okay, here we are. I've got I've got the hacksaw. When we cut this angle here, we want to keep the length here uh, of the same. We we don't want to get rid of any of that. But, but when we make this cut, we want this cut to match up with, uh, with this angle here. We want to make this cut here as close to this angle as we, as we can. It doesn't have to be precise, but it just needs to be close. So I will I'll put the hacksaw here. I cut a little bit into, into the bottom. Once I get an edge, I, kind of, I just kind of eyeball it make, you know, so, so that it looks like it matches that angle. And I just, just cut in into it. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna come up here, make my cut on this, on the top part of the bottom. And then I'll line up the blade with, with that top part of the, of the mag here. Okay, so I've, I've made a cut there and I've made a cut here. So you can see, so once we make that cut, it, it'll be straight across and even. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so here we are over here. We have the, the magazine that we, we marked the line on both sides. As you recall, we marked half inch from this line over to here on the top and the bottom. Then we have these two pieces of uh, shims that we're gonna use as uh, cutting guides. We're gonna have these shims on either side of the uh, duck bill, just like that, squeezed inside this um, vise. So what we, we do, what you do, you just get them kind of close where you can see the mark, hold them the be best you can. Put them inside there, just kind of snug it up a little bit. And then you have to, one side at a time, get them line, lined up. You know, you, you can see the mark parallel with, with the edge of this uh, guide stock. And then on this side, I'll do the same thing. Now come to this side, double check it. And then once you have them both, set right then you can look on one side and both of the pieces of, of guide stock should be in line with each other so then once once we have it there then the only thing left to do is cut so with your hacksaw you want to you want to keep the blade cutting you know you want the blade to stay right next to, to these rails now you can put your fing fingers there tilt the blade slightly in towards the uh, stock and just start cutting Okay, so we cut this off. So we've cut off the whole duck bill. 
So now what we need to do, just like we did before, we need to remove these three uh, reinforcements so that the only thing we have left are these two things here. So we do the same thing with this that we did with the last mag. First thing I'm going to do is slice into this metal rib, cut that out with a hacksaw so that I completely separate the top two from the bottom three and then I'll cut off the bottom three. What I'm doing now is put it, setting up this blade to cut at a four, 45 degree or cut the blade sideways so I can reach the part that I can't reach when it's straight. Okay, so there we have it. We have this one cut. Should we? Then we'll just go back and uh, you know, we've got it all cut off. We just need to take the uh, grinding tool and just, uh, or with the cutting wheel, and just smooth this out so it does, doesn't, so it's not so sharp and it looks a little better. But before we do that, we'll go ahead and cut this angle here on the top, just like, like we did, where we have to cut the top of the blade, I mean, cut the top of the lug at an angle, just like that. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, with, with your file, you can smooth off, smooth off the edges a little bit. So here we are, we've got the two mags. This first one is the one that we cut on the, uh, the uh, table bandsaw. We've already dressed this up a little, little bit with the uh, cutting blade from the, uh, from the uh, handheld grinder. So we're gonna go ahead and take, take care of dressing this up, making it a little nice. We'll clean it up some, take off the sharp edges, and then, then we'll try them. Okay, there we have it. We've got two of them. One made with a table saw, and one made with a hacksaw and a uh, vise. All right, so let's try it. Let's try these in, in, in the in the lug and see how see how they work. Okay, here we are. We've, we've got our, our prop gun with our FML in it. Uh, these are the two mags that we just recently modified by cutting down the duck bill in a prescribed mat manner, turning them into a uh, AK style mag magazines with only a small lug on the fore and the aft of the magazine body. Uh, these things, as you can see, they go, they go in nice and easy. They come out nice and easy. Uh, they're much better, much easier to uh, pouch, whether you pouch them in, in a chest rig or on the side. Uh, plus the fact, uh, you know, very very soon we're, we're going to be coming out with, with another vid where we're going to kind of full, full, fully explain the FML, uh, how it works, how it installs into the main ho housing of our stock, and also why why we we're going to go with with an, an extra long extended le lever for the extended mag release, which aids in pulling these magazines out. If if for one of several reasons you find yourself needing to pull out a partially loaded mag. Because what we found is, with, without this uh, uh, mag release in the rear, if you're only going to use the forward lug le lever to pull out a mag, it works fine when the mag is empty. But when the mag still has rounds in it, uh, let's say if you had to pull, pull it out because you have a failure to feed or failure to e eject, you'd want to pull out a loaded mag. Or if you find yourself in a spot where you just need to pull out a partially loaded mag and recharge your, your rifle with a, with a fully loaded mag. Uh, this, this this lever here allows it allows the mag basically to come straight out, uh, which which we think is a great advantage. Uh, so anyway, we'll be coming out with those vids very very soon. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll 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 see you later.